Yeah. This is Maslow from Big Time Russian. Uh, Peter Murgatroyd, right? Am I saying it right? Murgatroyd? Yes, Murgatroyd. Yeah. Uh, dancing. You guys were dancing partners. And, and then, then last night, the big thing, everyone's been kind of complaining about the big switcheroo. So here they are dancing the jive. <laughs> oh, very yeah. cool. So it was so good they, they separated me. What happened? Yeah, so switch up week. And like you said, at first I think everybody was really concerned about it. You know, you get attached to your partner and you start learning how to work with somebody. And we spent several weeks together. And then they said, you know what, we're just going to let the fans vote and switch you up. But when we knew we were going back, and I know that now I'm back with Peter for the rest of the season, we kind of embraced it. And it was a lot of fun. I got to work with Cheryl Burke, and she's great. You said it was like cheating, kind of, right? <laughs> It was kind of like getting a nice hall pass for the week, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to say, obviously, the big question everyone, and even Erin Andrews asked you, you know what's coming. Are we oh, going to have a dancing baby, basically? That's what she wanted to know. Uh, I Are feel like, you and Pita together? I feel like Erin might have been projecting. Because I'm 23. I have a hard enough time taking care of my dog. I'm not going to think about a baby for a long time. But Erin, yeah. I don't know. Are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> How did we get to a baby? Have you dated yet? Well, no, there's the... Because I think we're long way away from a baby. No, no, they famously James and Peter, everyone knows they had at least a date yes. or two, yes. and so now everyone is surmising because uh -huh. you guys um, are really hot together. Well, thank you very much, and by all means, surmise away, but um, we're focusing on dancing right now, and she's a great I, girl, and let me tell you, I'm lucky to spend every day with her. It's been a lot of fun. Your moves, except for the time when you're basically standing there and she's doing everything, <laughs> your moves are really good. Now, this is part, this is what you've been doing on stage with with uh, with the, with the band all this time, or we're doing a little bit of choreography, sure, but mm -hmm. nothing like this. Let me tell you. Are um, you worn out? I, I've been tired at times. You don't seem worn out this morning. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna attribute that to two cups of coffee, but you know what? It's also because I'm having so much fun. Yeah. When you enjoy something, even sure. if it's physically hard work, it's not it's not bad. I'm having a ton of fun doing this. Why is your shirt on today, though? Like. Um you know what? I actually came in with no shirt, yes. okay. and I thought that's what I was going to wear today. And then producer said, "Look, as much as as much as we like that, we just can't." That, have to, that, we have to cover the you up. that producer, by the way, will be working somewhere else tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, I think exactly. they're already fired. Hey, um, <laughs> you know, you have your life in front of you. You know, you you you've been uh, in a star group for this long. You're doing this. You'll be doing independent projects, etc. If you weren't doing this, let's go back a little bit. If I talked to you when you were 12, what did you want to be when you grew up? <sighs> Man, when I was 12, I was playing sports. I was singing at the time, but I'm not sure that I'd really taken it seriously or considered like, hey, this will be a career. Mm -hmm. I was acting a little bit, but um, at that point, I just, I don't know, I was into architecture. I think that I yeah. might have pursued a career in that or in business. Um, things I'm still interested in, but you know, I don't really think I ever gave myself a backup plan. This was always, I'm going to go for it. I'm gonna do, do you think there's it. every time in your life, because you've been doing it so long, I mean, you're, you're you're a hardened veteran by now. <laughs> then you'll say, you know, when I'm uh, really old, let's say like 35. Super okay. old. Yeah, I mean, just okay. pretty sure. much they're going to put you on the beach. That you would actually radically change careers and do something like architecture or something like that. I mean, some of the best actors and best musicians in the world have famously, like, renounced their careers. And I think that at a point, everybody's got to take a break. But... I don't think I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to just completely switch careers. I mean, you know, I might need a break at some mm -hmm. point, but I love what I do. And I'm so blessed to do it. And if I can keep doing this for the rest of my life, I have no reason to right, stop. I was I asking you, it's a very personal question for me, because, you know, when I get a little older, yeah, I'm oh. thinking I should make a career change and, you know, head off One in another hope. direction. I mean, for maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe a boy band. A boy maybe, band. Maybe, you know, okay. maybe we can reunite. We can get another member. You can come in. We'll teach sure. you some of this choreography. Look my at face you up guys. We'll hire Peter, you know. Yeah. Look how much you've changed. Oh, look look at how you. much yeah. you've changed. Oh, the hair. It was even longer than that. It's, it was yeah. the floppy boy hair, yeah, right? Really yeah, I had shaggy hair for about 10 years. Mm. You know, and I dug it. It's just a little easier to, you know, wash and Good get around shorter. Don't hurt yourself. Thank okay. you so much. All right. The band's still together, right? The boys are still together. They're still together. Yeah.